I grew up in a you know, working class family, upstate New York, and it was clear where I went to school that there were differences, but I didn't have the vocabulary, the language to articulate those perceptions. Bud has a very interesting combination of, of, of wisdom and commitment, uh, knowledge and, uh, and drive and patience. And uh, he has been really, really one of the engines uh, for justice uh, in education. We have a belief in American society that if young people try hard, work hard, they can get ahead. The unfortunate fact is that sociological research and, and research in other disciplines has shown that that is more mythical than real. And what he's done on campus is to uh, apply his research to a, a real world setting. I think from Bud, one of the things that I learned was how important uh, incorporating different communities uh, and thinking about the broader picture of what you're studying and how it's important. Um, so much of academia ends up just within the ivory tower. And I think Bud really showed me and every other person that he came in contact with here uh, that there's something beyond this and that it really has to have meaning and purpose. Um, it's got to go beyond the tower. We had long talked about the need to better prepare underrepresented minority youth so they could walk in the front door of any uh, campus. Bud tries to figure out how to make um, public education more equal, more fair, uh, how to give opportunities to those who don't have opportunities. Our idea was that with the properly organized activity, the properly organized school, students from low-income backgrounds could be prepared to go to college. Price School was the place where Bud first started really using his ideas that he had developed over the past 30 years to truly change the lives of students. Number one transformative high school in the United States and all the rest. College going rates are are through the roof even better than we had predicted when we started, frankly. Uh, so the school is a success. Certainly, the development of the Pro School as a model for high schools in general and models for the relationship that a university can have and should have, I think, with members of the community are up there with, I think, one of the stellar achievements of this campus. Bud is a warm, generous, intellectually courageous, inspiration to me. My third year I left my PhD program as 50% of PhDs do at some point. I was living in a monastery in Santa Cruz and the only person that I still had uh, contact with at UCSD was Bud Meehan. Just kind of trying to figure out my life, what I was going to do, and a hundred percent a result of those conversations about direction and what I wanted to do with Bud actually ended up bringing me back to UCSD. It's a distinct pleasure, honor, and a very humbling experience, frankly. I have had profound respect for Roger's vision of this campus and higher education and, and more generally. And to be a recipient of an award that's in his name is a deep honor. <laughs>